What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the In Media Res beginning of another episode of the Marketing for Coaches show, aka all the things I usually halfway call it. Uh, Michael and I are here with you once again to talk about a, I wouldn't call it a touchy subject, but it is, well, actually, maybe I could call it a touchy subject, kind of a touchy-feely subject, but this is about challenging without judgment, which is, it's, it's kind of a shorthand phrase. And it's something that has come up in numerous conversations for me with coaches um, about how essentially how important questions are and that they apply the right pressure in the right moments. Um, And I know, I know you and I talk about this quite a bit um, in the context of how we engage with our clients and how our clients engage with their clients and how we serve each other and help each other. We talk about this in the context of like, simple, very straightforward things like onboarding new clients, um, all the way up to, you know, key moments in developing the relationship. Um, But I feel like this is a very interesting subject to explore because a lot of times a challenging question, though it's not intended to provoke any sort of emotional reaction, naturally will. Um, We were talking a little bit before, um, before I hit record about, say, for example, if we ask you, like, say, we as a marketing agency that you just contracted, we ask you about, like, so what have you, what have, what have you done up to now? What's your style guide look like? And every, you know, sometimes we'll have clients who are relatively new in their business, and they will have just kind of gotten started, and they'll just say they don't have one. You may and, want to explain oh, what a style guide is for those that don't know. You know what? That, that's a great. That's a great point. Um, a style guide is. It's funny how used how used to you get to certain uh, terminology. Um, a style guide is essentially something that <laughs> guides your style. Uh, no, I'll, I won't define it using itself. That's 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 silly of me. Um, it's essentially something like a a document of some sort, a file of some sort that contains foundational basic information about what your brand looks like, like you know, all the way down like fonts and colors, like primary and secondary colors, to certain keywords and concepts that show up all throughout your branding and marketing, basically how you represent yourself in the world, whether it's social media or print media, audio or video, just essentially something that you can give to say a freelancer or say a marketing agency, hint, hint, um, that will guide them to starting at the right place. It, It allows you to basically start at a much more advanced level if you are working with someone's branding and marketing, as opposed to having to come up with, okay, what font would you like? And will it be a serif or a sans serif? And what pri- what, what primary color would you like to use in all your branding? And do we need to get a logo and all this kind of stuff? Um, and again, in the context of challenging questions, if you have that kind of stuff and you're proud of it, then that, that's fantastic. And you should be, and you should have that. But maybe you don't, or maybe it's not very well developed. And there's been times where at least I know I've spoken to clients who haven't had it. And they'll, you know, they'll feel a certain kind of way about being asked for something they can't provide or don't have yet. Um, and it's just one tiny little little sliver of an example of something it's that's that will get provide a little bit of a challenge just by being asked. And there are a myriad of other kinds of questions um that represent challenges to your clients and challenges to your coworkers, to your team. Um and I think the key, and I'm going to let you talk here in a minute because I feel like I'm starting to ramble a little bit. You, I went down the style guide rabbit hole, but the key I feel like is to challenge people with your questions, to apply the right amount of pressure to help mm-hmm. them get to where they want to go in the first place, help help that relationship go in the direction that you both want it to go. Um, so you you speak for for a little while on on questions and challenging without judgment. Yeah, I mean, there's, we could, we could honestly, Kevin, we could talk about this for 45 minutes, an hour or longer. Or, or um, longer. <laughs> excuse me. But, you know, there a couple things I, I'll bring up, I guess, is I think a big, so I've been doing this for over a decade as a, as a consultant, <clears throat> I've worked with, uh, companies big and small and have done some some branding projects and have done some uh, strategic market plans. And anytime you're doing that kind of stuff, what you really want to do, what you really have to do to, in order to do it well, is understand the client, right? Mm-hmm. And this, 
I'm going to explain it in, in those terms because that's my, my personal experience. Um, for coaches listening to this, obviously this, this is, this is an analogous. Um, for, for you working for, for a coach working with a client, whether it's an entrepreneur or someone in the C-suite, et cetera. Um, but getting to know and understand the client and taking them from where they are, bridging that gap to where they want to be, right? Mm -hmm. As a consultant, that's what I was hired to do many times as well. Um, and what I think the way, I don't think it necessarily has to be triggering, right? I, I know for a fact that it doesn't. And I think what you got to do in order to get there is, is you got to, you have to, you have to tend the garden bed before you plant stuff. All right. I like it. That's yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so you got to set a foundation, right? You got to, you, you can't, you don't want to just dive headfirst into a brand new relationship and start asking, poking and prodding questions that are potentially upsetting. Mm -hmm. Right. And I know with, especially with coaches that are leadership coaches, especially, right. Um, maybe, maybe not as much business coaches, although I also think business coaches, but definitely leadership coaches. Um, you can, you can set up the relationship in such a way, uh, that when questions are brought up, you've already established that this is a trusting judgment-free zone, right? I'm not going to say safe space because I can, because I hate that. I hate that term. <laughs> it means, it, yeah, it's, and you're, you, you mean something different than that. Yeah. I do a hundred percent. Um, this is, this is, this is a, this is a place where we are focused on getting work done. It is not a safe space. It's not safe. Hard work. It takes hard work to do some of this stuff, right? You got to, and, and risk a hundred percent. If you want to level up yourself or your team, if you want to level up your team, you're leveling up yourself. If you want to mm -hmm. level up yourself, you've got to dig deep and, and do hard work. Mm -hmm. um, you've got to have and be able to have difficult conversations uh, with, with your 360, with people above you, with people next to you, and with people below you, hmm. right? You've got to accept criticism on th things that you do and your behaviors and not accept those things as who you are. So I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm going the long way around to like it, a, <laughs> yeah, I'm going the long way around to, to essentially, like I said, you got to tend the garden bed before you plant anything. So, you know, build the relationship and establish that, that we're going to do hard work it's not always going to be easy. I'm not here to judge you, hmm. right? I'm here to help you. I'm here to guide you. Um, you're 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 paying me a fee <laughs> to take you to the next level. That's not going to be easy for for anybody. So mm -hmm. we got we got to do the work. Um, and I think I think almost like with anything, right? It's about setting expectations. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, uh, another. Another thing that we were talking about, you and I and, and the rest of the boxer team were chatting about this morning, um, is Bern, Bernie Schroeder. The oh, guy yeah. wrote this book, Brands and BS. <laughs> uh, great book, by the way. Um, he, we listened to a podcast where the boxer team is, is reading that book together as part of our education. We, we do... Uh, book reads together and we study together and we're always kind of learning stuff. So right now we're working on that book and we listened to a podcast that the author was on Bernard Schroeder. Um, it's a strange name, Bernhard. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm not going to, I'm not going to derail, <laughs> I'm not gonna derail myself. Um, and he said uh, the the podcaster was coming at him from this very tactical perspective, as as you as you mentioned, um, mm -hmm. and saying, you know, like what what are your what are your three top questions to ask clients about branding? And he's like, and 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 Bernie Schroeder said, you know, I don't really think about it that way. Mm -hmm. I don't have like three top questions that I ask. 
What I do is I ask short, open-ended questions, usually six words or less. Hmm. Um, and I, you know, I've got a couple, I'll pull up a couple examples of those real quick. So like, what's your biggest sales challenge? Hmm. What are two things occurring in your industry that could destroy you? That's longer than six words, right? But you get the idea. It's pretty it's open-ended. In the, it's in the spirit. It's in the spirit. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's one opportunity that could accelerate you? Right. And, 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 and mm -hmm. in, in asking these simple, short, open-ended questions, you're able to allow the client to come to conclusions themselves, to explore what they already know, right? But they've maybe never voiced it before or written it down before or something like that. Um, and that, as coaches know, as all you, as all you coaches already know, uh, when the client comes up with the answer themselves, it's going to be a hell of a lot more powerful mm -hmm. than when you tell them. If you walk into that room on day zero and you're like, I know how to fix this. I can just tell them how to fix it. <laughs> That's not going to be as powerful. And it's not gonna be as long lasting, right? No. As, as if you guide them there. Um, mm -hmm. And let them invite you in. Like by yeah. asking those open, those open-ended short questions, because they, even though they they're they're very open-ended and they cover they they cover a wide space, they also simultaneously narrow the focus mm -hmm. and allow the person who's answering those questions to really find the answers in themselves. And as as a result of that, they're inviting you to come in along with them, which means you can go to some challenging places that might otherwise poke, prod, trigger, explode like a landmine. Um, mm -hmm. But because you're invited in, because they're bringing you in with them, because you asked that right question, you can go so much deeper, get so much farther together. It really, it it makes it sound simple because it mm -hmm. really is that simple and it is that powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know that I've got, I mean, like I said, I think we could go for like 60 minutes on this, but I think I covered yeah most, most of what I wanted to say about this, which is that, you know, it's. It's not that hard to do. Yeah. You got, you got to, it, it's, I think it's important. I do think it's important to establish a relationship first um, and then ask open-ended questions along the way and just set expectations, man. Establish the yeah. relationship, set expectations and make sure everybody knows that it's going to be hard work and mm -hmm. that it's not safe space, mm -hmm. but it's a judgment-free zone and you just, you're not there to judge. You're there to, to help bridge the gap. Yep. We're going to get uncomfortable together and we're going to go yeah. places. <laughs> I can, I can think of a more exciting, exciting proposition than that. <laughs> let's get uncomfortable together. <laughs> anyway, I, let's, let, let's look at something a little less comfortable. Ooh, there you go. Something a little less comfortable. The Michael and Kevin show. <laughs> It'll be, we'll, we'll put that on the discard pile of our working titles, but for now, like I said, we're probably going to revisit this topic or topics that we touched on in this episode in the future because it's just, it's so rich and it's so meaty and it's really at the heart of what we're doing and why we do what we do. So if you have any questions, if you have any any prompts to go farther, anywhere you'd like us to go deeper, you know what to do down below in the comments. Just, you know, fix those fingers. Let us know a little bit. Reach out to us. We have both have email addresses. <gasps> you can find us there. You can find us on LinkedIn. Um, actually, our email addresses are very, very simple. If you were curious, it's michael at boxer.agency. And can you guess? Kevin at boxer.agency. We also have some aliases that we will not share on this public kid-friendly podcast, but you could we can be easily reached via email, easily reached via LinkedIn, easily reached in the comments, easily reached by snail mail. Even though Michael lives on a mountain and I live in a valley, we're easily, easily reached in all sorts of ways. <laughs> so if you have any questions, any comments, need any encouragement, want any guidance, any kind of conversation you want to have, we're here. And like, we will subscribe and comment. Oh, of course. Uh, of co I, you know, I'm almost like, I almost want to like go the other way and just never ask for likes. Don't l listen to me right now. The, all, all of you who are listening, within the sound of my voice, don't you dare like this video. Don't you dare. And, and don't you dare subscribe. Under no circumstances are you to like or subscribe. Don't even share it. Keep it a secret. Kevin, Keep it like a secret. You're, you're you're a professional marketer. You know the power of simple suggestion. <laughs> I know, I know, but I just I like to. Pivot. I'm Gen X. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go against the grain. I gotta pivot. 
anyway, we can we can explore that in therapy later on. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Please do. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon.